Meghan Markle will not be going to the King's coronation next month, and will instead stay in California with her children Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet. Prince Harry will make the trip however, and experts have claimed the decision was to ensure Archie's fourth birthday, which falls on the same day as the historic service, was celebrated by at least one parent. But royal expert of Wahagan has told Express.co.uk that another reason is behind the decision. Get the latest royal news straight to your phone by joining our WhatsApp community. She said that while Archie's birthday will have been a factor, a huge part of the decision will have been the media scrutiny Meghan will have faced if she did go to the coronation. Ms. Hagen noted that the Duchess of Sussex received a lot of negative headlines when she joined Harry for the late Queen's funeral last year, and she's keen to avoid going through it again. Discussing the criticism Meghan receives, the expert said, that has got to be quite frustrating and annoying given she is just living her life and going about her business supporting her husband. She doesn't want to put herself through all that because it's not worth it. Ms. Hagen went on to say that Meghan's decision not to attend the coronation was a masterstroke, adding, she has taken away the ability for people to criticize what she's wearing, what she's doing, or not getting in a car the right way. People won't be able to mock her. That is part of the reason she didn't want to give them the sideshow she didn't want to let them tear strips off her. I think that played a huge part in her decision. The royal commentator also remarked that the announcement that Harry would attend the coronation alone took her by surprise as she fully expected the couple to step out for the event together. It was the least likely scenario, she said as she thought the family of four would travel to London together to allow them to celebrate Archie's birthday as a family once the coronation service was over. But she said the decision for one parent to stay behind with the children was a normal one and represents one of the dilemmas that families face across the globe when diary clashes take place. On Wednesday, the palace and the Sussexes coordinated a statement to announce that Harry would be attending the coronation alone. The statement read, Buckingham Palace is pleased to confirm that the Duke of Sussex will attend the coronation service at Westminster Abbey on May 6. The Duchess of Sussex will remain in California with Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet. It came after months of speculation over whether the couple would make the trip to London for the historic event following a turbulent time for royal relations. Royal commentators were quick to point out that the decision for Meghan to stay behind was likely because of Archie's birthday. Omid Scobie, who CEO wrote a biography on the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, said this and wrote on Twitter, I understand that Archie's fourth birthday, also on May 6, played a factor in the couple's decision. Expect it to be a fairly quick trip to the UK for Prince Harry who will only be attending the coronation ceremony at Westminster Abbey. Harry's only public appearance over the coronation long weekend will be at the Westminster Abbey service, and questions remain over whether he will join the rest of the royal family at Buckingham Palace later that day. Members of the royal family are set to give Harry the cold shoulder when he returns to the UK for the historic service, as many distrust him since his recent spate of public attacks. His brother Prince William is not even expected to speak to him, as he remains furious about the claims made against him and his wife in his memoir Spare. Palace officials are busily working on a plan to make sure there are no awkward confrontations during the service, with Harry's arrival set to be choreographed down to the last minute to ensure the bro.